Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice here that the ES uh, pulled back a little bit here uh, in pre market trading and was immediately rejected in the 6 o'clock hour. Uh, we've had steady selling pressure since then. Although it is a narrow range so far here, 56% of ADR in less than 20 points of range today, uh, there is a potential breakdown that could occur that could elongate today's uh, range to the downside. So again, uh, very, very close right here to breaking to the downside and pushing through 4100, which could open up a move back toward 4070 or perhaps even lower overall. Uh, this market remains very, very bullish, but the pattern here of weakness that we've seen continues to play out. Lower highs, lower lows, stop run day in the previous session, and now holding that point here, which means we could see more weakness. In order for bulls to really come out here, you got to see a rejection, perhaps at the previous session's low, and perhaps a close through the previous session's midpoint in order for bulls to kind of turn things around in the near term. Otherwise, we're still searching lower for a strong low. Perhaps another low like this could be in play. Well, not like that. <laughs> Instead, more like this. And that could give us another uh, great bounce off point. Uh, until then, right now, we appear to be searching lower for a strong low. All right, let's take a look now at the NQ. You'll notice here with the NQ, this one looks a bit more weak. Uh, one thing we've talked about before was the key range high here. That's 13,900, 13,900 right there. Uh, and you'll notice how price had developed a box around that level. We talked about how price had been trading around that zone. Well, in the previous session here, we had uh, a breakdown out of that range and a close down outside of that box. You can see this morning uh, any rally has been rejected so far. The last one again in a 6 o'clock hour rejecting just shy of 13.8. Again, not fully breaking down right now. So far, the previous low is held in check. But if we start to break down through the previous low, that could open up some weakness down toward 13.6 uh, today. And perhaps even lower uh, into 13.3 over the next several days. So again, watching to see how this plays out. But the fact that we're breaking down out of this narrow range right now rejecting 13900 any pullback even a bounce into 139 could be seen as a lower high opportunity for a continuation toward 133 so right now uh breaking down below 139 here short term indicative of short term weakness uh unless price can start to push back above 138 relatively soon okay let's take a look now at crude oil now crude oil showing more weakness here after bouncing down off of uh, the 64 level again looking at this from the 64 perspective here that was right where we broke down here before that led to this weakness we've bounced back to that level and now every time we've hit 64 here we've seen rejection we've pulled back I mentioned before if we pulled back to, to 62 or, or just below it that could provide a rejection and bounce opportunity for a continuation towards 66. That could still be in play here if prices can find a way to reject the previous session's low. To re reject the previous session's low and close back above today's mid, current mid, that could be indicative of a bounce opportunity higher. Otherwise, a failure to, to, to close back above 62s here today could be uh, in, in indicative of a failure here and a rotation back to the bottom of the previous range. So again, an important zone right here, 62, continues to be an important area to continue to watch. Lastly, taking a look here at gold futures. You'll notice with gold, this one is making its move higher. This one has done everything it needs to do here lately in order to turn uh, the trend around to change the bias of this trend you can see the trend had been uh, lower since the beginning uh, first two days were up bearish outside day on day three with a sell signal massive selling every pullback into the Pima trigger zone was sold for new lows except this one this one went for a higher low here and is now bounced to a new high 
A higher low, which we were calling for here, also held and is pushed back above 1765s. We're now trading 1786s. Another higher low developing here. So this looks really good. I mentioned before, if we can just hold above 1765 and especially 1750 on any pullback, that could provide a path toward 1850 and 1875. That's what we're looking for right now, 1850 to 1875, if prices can continue to hold eight, uh, 1750 here in gold. So a really good change of bias in the trend here with a shot to continue higher up ahead. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.